Good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Mayor Suarez, and thank you, Miami, for your vision and your warm hospitality. Thank you, Stephen, and thank you, Algonauts everywhere. We should be proud of all we have accomplished. After two and a half years from our launch, with over 17 million blocks produced, and with over 1,000 companies building on Algorand, let's take a moment to reflect why we are here and what we want to be. Algorand is here to bring true decentralization. All blockchains talk about decentralization. All blockchains talk about financial inclusion. Talk is cheap, we deliver. In a centralized, or poorly centralized blockchain, an elite club has always the power of excluding anyone they want from the economy. We are here to put an end to this. Algorand exists to make all free to participate and to make it easy to participate. This is true decentralization. And true decentralization is essential to financial inclusion. Financial inclusion also requires scalability because there are billions of us and because each one of us wants to transact and should be able to transact. Blockchains that support 16 transactions per second cannot guarantee any financial inclusion. At most, they can support speculation. Algorand is here because we finally guarantee decentralization and scalability. We have worked very hard to build our beautiful home, and we are here to protect it. Before Algorand, people believe it impossible for a blockchain to be simultaneously decentralized, scalable, and secure. We are here because we can tell apart impossible from hard and because we can take apart what is hard. Algorand is here because our technology works. Since our launch, we have produced block after block every 4.4 seconds without interruptions and without any forks. Our blockchains hold routinely. They think nothing of half day or downtime every month. Such a level of service may be fine for speculation. Blockchain is down? Yeah, I'll speculate tomorrow. But for basic services, financial services, healthcare services, air quality monitoring, and so on, it's a different story. We are here because continuity of service is crucial. Algorand is here because we can upgrade, have upgraded, and will continue to upgrade our platform. Whenever blockchains tell you we are proud that the chain will continue to operate in the same way it has always operated, walk away. When they announce year after year after year an improvement that never comes, stop paying attention. Access to better technology is a rightful expectation. When new and safe technology becomes available and we agree to incorporate it, Algorand will incorporate it seamlessly and without any interruption of service, as we have done so far and as we'll continue to do. Nothing static leaves for very long or remains relevant for very long. Life is about intelligent adaptation. We are here to adapt intelligently and together. We shall leave no one technologically behind. The traditional economy is built on expensive mediators who do not care nor have a financial incentive to secure ordinary transactions of ordinary people. A mediator that adds value to a transaction is always welcome. But when the only function of a mediator is to make the transaction itself possible, 
then what is welcome is a secure technology that replaces that mediator. Consider a, a bilateral exchange. You have an asset that I want, and I have an asset that you want, and you want to swap them. This is the cornerstone of trade. It must be secure. It must be convenient, and it must be cheap. Even if it costed 50 cents, it would cost too much. Because 50 cents is an exorbitant amount when your salary is $100 a month, or when the assets to be exchanged are worth 10 bucks. In Algorand, a bilateral exchange is implemented as a single indivisible transaction in less than five seconds at the cost of a fraction of a cent and without writing a single line of code. Financial inclusion requires such super efficiency. Algorand is here because we can finally provide it. Algorand is here because it is the ideal platform for decentralized autonomous organization. We have seen enough wrongs in our lives and we should right as many as we can. You want to launch a DAO because you want to enable your community to organize itself in new and better ways, preventing centralization and other inequities from popping up again. But launching a decentralized organization in a centralized blockchain makes no sense. You want to launch your DAO on Algorand because Algorand stands for and operates by your same principles. A few days ago, 51,000 Algorand governors have voted in a crucial governance vote. No DAO in any blockchain has ever seen such a level of participation. Algorand is here to sustain this and much higher levels of participation. Algorand is here because we are the green blockchain. Some blockchains consume as much electricity as a small country. Algorand only uses the energy needed to power 10 homes. Being green is our pride and our moral obligation. The less privileged are the first to suffer from the degradation of the environment. A blockchain that is bad for the environment is a bad blockchain, period. Algorand, <laughs> Algorand is green by design. We have been green from day one, and we shall continue to be green. That's why projects like Planet Watch and Climate Trade have chosen to build on Algorand and are thriving on Algorand. Technology is quintessentially human. When we built our first tool, we became more, not less human. But our human journey has been a tortuous one. Time and again, we have lost our way in some very dark places. And technology has also used to oppress people, to deprive us of our humanity. Even today, technology that enables us to stay in touch with your friends also demands that we surrender our information about ourselves. Really? I think it's time to turn this business plan on its head. Yes, there is technology for bad. That's why we must create better technology for good. Let's leverage our great technology to express our consent, if we want to consent, to specify the type of advertising information we are willing to receive and the price we demand for their privilege to bring such information to our attention. Let's leverage our technology to retain control of our information. 
Algorand will reframe the concept of ownership of our personal information and of what we create. That's why a Algorand is here. Let me share with you something personal. I was born in Palermo, Sicily, but I spent my childhood in Agrigento. 2,500 years ago, Agrigento was a famous Greek city, Akragas. At the time, Akragas was called the most beautiful city of the mortals. Its temple of Zeus, now destroyed, was bigger than the Parthenon in Athens. But when I arrived on the scene, Agrigento was the poorest province of Italy. Yet, it retained a visible memory of its glorious past, its temples. Agrigento temples lie in majestic procession on an hill crest against the backdrop of the blue Mediterranean Sea. They were, they are magnificent. Here you see just three of them, Hercules, Concordia, Hera. Let me date myself. When I was a kid, over 60 years ago, travel was hard. No credit cards, no travel checks, cash only. Minimal hotel reception at Agrigento. Scant transportation too. Yet nothing could stop people from rushing to the temples by taxi, by cart, on horseback, on foot, from everywhere in all stations of life. Everybody, local farmers, romantic foreigners, local fishermen, archaeologists, you name it, everybody got their beauty. All new couples from all socioeconomic strata wanted to memorialize their wedding day next to the creation of artists dead for over two millennia, yet still capable of inspiring us. That's when I understood the true power of art. We are the art we make and will be remembered by the art we leave behind for everyone to enjoy, like the light of the sun. So, why is the current economic structure stacked against the artist? Never mind. Let's look forward and let's change history. We, we humans... We humans are creators. We create technology and we create art. Personally, I'm a technologist, but I very much admire the transforming power of art. And in Algorand, we finally have a platform that allows us to make it right for the artist, to enable more artists to have sustainable careers, to enable them to focus on their art rather than on a multiplicity of side jobs, to make self-releasing of their art effective and efficient. Algorand and art should be more than an end. It should be a perfect union. There. <laughs> Plain and simple, Algorand will be the backbone of the new creator economy. <laughs> and in this new economy, new social behavior will emerge. All artists dialogue with prior artists. All poets respond to prior poets. And musicians routinely reinterpret prior tunes. With Algorand, artists finally have the right technology to share credit and money with those who have inspired their work. Even if one downloading of your song generates 25 cents, in Algorand you have the option, at the cost of a fraction of one cent, to, uh, to automatically give some of your hard-earned 25 cents to those who have inspired your work and to those who have helped you reach your perfect audience. Not because of some contracts. Sometimes the source of our inspiration is so deep in our souls that only we can recognize it. 
but because people love you and your work, we love you all the more for it. Because it is the right thing to do. And because with Algorand, we can finally afford doing the right thing. With Algorand, the artistic community has the ability to reorganize itself in new and better ways. In a fair DAO, where the artists sit at the table. In fact, at the head of the table. A cooperative table. A self-governing table in which everyone has a say. Art is more than a collection of separate individuals. It is a social endeavor. And Algorand is here to provide the tool to make the social endeavor fairer and to create the world where the artists want to create. So, where are we? We are here. This is a statue by Michelangelo. It has been cataloged as unfinished work. To me, it is a perfectly finished work of art, as it perfectly captures us at this point of our journey. After a titanic struggle, slowly but surely, we are finally extricating ourselves from all this mass of garbage that has been piled upon us and that has imprisoned us for too long. It is about time we break free. And break free we shall, for we have things to say, energies to express, and beautiful things to create. So let's enjoy this beautiful meeting. Let's bond with one another. Let's gather our strength. And then let's make a difference for our planet, for all who have been excluded from finance, and for all who are voiceless in the matters of their own creation. We have the tools, we have the vision, and we have the determination. We shall prevail. Go Algorand! <laughs>